Dr. Lily Mae Carroll Jackson uh, was a freedom fighter. My grandmother, she used her eloquence and this fire in her fiber uh, to join in common, common cause with persons of goodwill to make sure that the, um, the prescription of the Constitution was able to be enjoyed by every citizen regardless of their race, creed, or color. She is really the mother of this modern civil rights movement. It was not an easy task, but at the end, after 20 years, we were able to open the, the building. But, uh, this museum should be a museum that captures the imagination of our, of our children. In this case, we wanted to have a living museum that represented the setting when Lily Carroll Jackson still lived here. The actual furniture of Lily Carroll Jackson has been set up in a way that looks like Lily Carroll Jackson just walked out the front door in 1970. Now this particular room is uh, her parlor and she would have met guests, she would have had meetings here, she would have met with people like Martin Luther King or Rosa Parks or Thurgood Marshall and they would have strategized and planned. I think I want visitors to take away Baltimore's role in this national struggle, Baltimore's leadership in the civil rights movement.